Hey guys. Um, so jury duty continues this week. Uh, I miss you guys a ton. Uh, jury duty is hard work. Um, I'm on the grand jury, which is a totally different experience than the pettit jury. But um, I'll give you more details on that later. I can't really tell you anything about the cases. But if you have questions, I'd love to share. Um, so for this week, uh, it's a four-day week. You guys uh, last week watched some videos talking about color and just really exploring how color plays into art. Um, I personally love that guy's uh, British accent, so hopefully, if nothing else, you enjoyed the British accent. Um, I know they're long episodes, but that was something we watched in college, um, and I find it fascinating the way that color um, plays into our life way more than we think. Um, you can even think about that in a way of like, advertisement or um, any type of like graphic design they use certain colors to provoke certain emotions like red is supposed to make you hungry and so nonetheless all very interesting stuff we will talk a lot more about the meaning of color when we start to get to our mask project where we will be specifically picking colors that match feelings and meanings um, but getting ahead of myself here a little bit um, clearly I miss you guys I'm excited to get back and teach again um, anywho, this project, this, this week, you guys will focus on three things. So you're going to focus on one, just the like initial understanding the color wheel, which is just a quick worksheet. There is a PowerPoint that is um, a Google slide that's attached to your Google Classroom. I will put this uh, worksheet also on Google Classroom in case you lose your first copy. I will not give you a second copy, so you need to get your own, um, your own copy. Um, then this is just simply for a reference point for when you're doing your final. So I made your final kind of tiny um, simply because last year I, I made it much larger and no one finished um, because it wasn't, it wasn't interesting enough to do a big one. So we're just going to make it tiny. Um, this is just for you to practice your shading with your pencils. Um, so when you are mixing your colors, You'll learn about your primary colors, your secondary colors, and then your tertiary colors. Your tertiary colors are those colors in between. So if we're looking at a color wheel, so like your yellow-orange, that's a tertiary color. Um, so that's two. It's a primary color and a secondary color mixed together, which makes a tertiary color. Then you will take your final. Um, you guys should see some of the examples in the other Google slide. It's labeled... Um, your color wheel uh, exercise. So it's kind of more of a practice project. It's only worth 50 points. Um, but with that said, you'll be practicing mixing your colors. So for example, you will find in those green bins with your colored pencils, if you don't have your own set, or if you do have your own set, you'll find this in your set. A lot of sets come with these kind of like, like this color right here is considered a blue-green color. It's not actually blue-green, it's just their version of a blue-green. Um, when you actually make your blue-green, you need to mix a blue and a green together. So um, here is your blue-green. I'm quickly going to re-angle this down here so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just working off my laptop here. So especially when you're doing your uh, worksheet, I have, let's see, where's my blue-green? It's right up here in the corner. So I oftentimes just try to start with the lighter color. So like with yellow-orange, yellow is a lighter color. With blue-green, I would say green's probably the lighter color, um, but that just depends um, on your, I guess, your opinion. But I'm just going to do a really light layer of green right here. And I'm filling the whole space. I'm taking my time. I'm going to go in two different directions, but I am going to fill the whole thing in those two directions. And again, notice I'm going light. I am not pressing dark at all by any means. So I have a really nice um, light coat. Now I'm going to go ahead in with my blue, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go over really lightly to fill with the blue. And then can anybody guess what I'm going to do after that? I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to go green and then blue again. Um, so it really just depends how um, dark you choose to make, your, um, to make your colors and how many times you're going to have to go over it. Uh, I'm a big fan of just keeping it nice and light. It goes a little bit quicker that way. 
this is just a worksheet, guys. So I am not expecting you to spend more than one day on this. Um, some of you are probably, and I, I love my perfectionists, don't get me wrong, but if you spend too much time just on the initial worksheet, you will not have enough time to finish the actual project, which could be really fun um, if you let it be. While I'm doing this, I'll just talk to you guys about the final project. The final project is on that small piece of paper, and there is a, a Google slide on, um, like I said, on Google Classroom for you to follow. Um, it gives you a lot of inspirational images. Feel free to pick anything you want. Um, you could pick the Viking helmet if you want to do something like sports related or if you play football and you want to do a football in a bunch of different colors. That's totally fine. Pick something that is, um, I don't know, something close to ho home for you, something that intrigues you. Okay, so there we go. That's good craftsmanship. Blue and green is getting mixed together and I am done. And that took me, I don't know, 30 seconds to about a minute and a half for that one. So again, this worksheet should easily be completed today, Tuesday, um, and then you are moving on and feel free to start this as soon as you're done. But you can use this as a reference point just to gauge where everything is. Um, it is a little bit larger than your paper, but feel free to like go in the back and put this up against the window and trace like the lines just so you can kind of break up your piece. You have to have 12, 12. So like, say you go with that football idea. You need to have 12 footballs all the way around in a circle and then creating the color wheel in those footballs. If you get done with that, you can fill in the background, create something fun or funky going on in the background. Um, or if anyone has any projects that aren't finished and you finish this project, that would be the time to do it. Um, a lot of you have emailed me, reached out, um, asking questions or just telling me like, I finished this project, can you put my grade in? Um, please keep emailing me, keep reaching out if you have any questions. I will be back on the 25th. Um, I can get to my emails in the evening after I get my kiddos to bed. Um, if not, sometimes during my lunch break at jury duty. So that's from like 12 to 1. So those are my free my free times. So again, reach out to me, uh, email me about anything you guys need. Um, rely on each other, help each other out, and enjoy. All right, miss you guys. I shall see you next Monday.